how to find multifamily deals, but this is an important one here because you can't buy them if you can't find them, right? So I'm gonna show you here how you can find multifamily deals and build wealth and find where they're listed at and how to go get them. So where the deals are and how you can have immediate access in minutes. So I'm going to show you in this video, my number one source for finding multifamily deals, how to find them within minutes and how to engage with people who have multifamilies and how to get them to talk to you about these deals, what to look for and how to get them. So I'm going to give you four websites here that you can use to look for multifamily deals. The first one is loopnet.com. I commonly use loopnet.com to find multifamily deals. I check it about every day or every other day. And most of my properties are in a certain part of California. So I always look in California in that area because I want my properties to be in that area. So if you're in Nashville, Tennessee, and you want to invest there, you look in Nashville, Tennessee on the search engine and on the type of property you want to buy, put residential income or multifamily. So that's gonna be your search engine. On LoopNet, you will see lots of information, including a description of the property, usually pictures of the property, sometimes pictures of inside, sometimes not, about what the cap rate is, which is basically what your return on your investment is after expenses, about what the price is, sometimes they list it, sometimes they don't, and as well, kind of what the expenses are and what the rent rule is. The rent rule, of course, is how much they're collecting in rent, and the role is all the different people and what they're paying. LoopNet you may or may not have as much information as you want or don't want, but that's a great place to start, and you can call the broker, their number and their name is on there, and you can ask for a package. And just say, send me a package. They usually have a pre-determined marketing package, and they will send that to you. And that's where you'll find a lot of them. Now, always ask, is this the only one you have for sale? Because they may have other ones for sale as well that's not on LoopNet. They're called pocket listings or they're listings that are coming up. And so I always talk with these people and talk to them a little bit and learn about them. And one of my keys to being successful in buying multifamily is if I can, I try to write the offer if I'm gonna buy it with the listing agent. I don't tip that to anybody. That's a big secret, okay? Because then they get the listing side and they get the sales side and they're more likely to put a deal together and you only have one person to deal with, the broker. They're dealing with the seller, you're the buyer or vice versa. They have that communication. Instead of two brokers where there's a lot of communication going around and frankly, a lot of emotion. The less emotion and the more business, the better one broker with both people I prefer in trying to buy, all right? The next one is crexi.com, C-R-E-X-I.com. This is another site that lists multifamilies for sale. So if you went to crexi.com and put in an area that you'll get a landing page or the initial skin page, and you can put in the area where you're interested in and properties for that area, if there are any, will come up. And they'll have pictures and pricing and there'll be a number of them that show up. So C-R-E-X-I, crexi.com, loopnet.com are two of the ones that I use and go to, which will help you to find property instantly and within minutes. But don't leave yet because I got a lot more to tell you. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't run over to that site yet. And uh, we're gonna talk about a few more things for you. The next one is apartments.com. Apartments.com have apartments all over the US. Now, all of these places, I recommend that you invest in a certain area. If you live in Nashville, don't be trying to invest in Utah. If you live in Utah, don't be trying to invest in, say, Texas. A lot of times it's just too far. For most of you, it's good to invest in your local area and there's money to be made in your local area for most of you. Unless you're in an economically depressed area or a very difficult residential area with a lot of crime or problems, there's usually you can make money in just about any market by buying multifamily and improving them, which we talked about in other videos, but that's another place for you, apartments.com. The next one is Zillow. You can go into Zillow and you can find uh, properties for sale that are listed by residential brokers. You usually don't see bigger apartment buildings, but you will see two, three, four units, sometimes seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and it may be a residential broker versus an apartment broker 
which tends to be more on these other sites that would list it. So you definitely want to check Zillow because a lot of times I see stuff is not on one site, but it's on another site. So look at all four sites. Sometimes you'll see the same property on multiple sites. Sometimes you won't. So to get a full counting of what's available in your area, look at all the different sites and try to find multifamily. And of course in Zillow, just check for multifamily and remove the houses, land, mobile homes, and all that other stuff. Another resource for apartment buildings for sale is getting on a list and having brokers email you on a regular basis of what they have for sale. Oftentimes brokers, and this happens with me, they will send me an email, which is the first I heard about a listing, and I'll call them, and in some cases, I'll end up with the property. When I have something in my local area, I usually am trying to make an offer, trying to buy it if it makes sense. In your area, wherever you want to invest, be sure to talk to brokers in that area. I was once looking at property in Minnesota because I had a person that used to work for me that lived there, and they were good at managing and handling the property, so I knew that if I had some property there, they could run them for me. She had relocated. So I simply went on LoopNet, Zillow, these sites I'm telling you about, and found multifamily properties. And what did I find? I found a triplex I was gonna buy, and of course it had eight offers on it because it was a great deal, right? But I didn't have to go to that state. I could see it right there. I don't have to walk the property. I could see the pictures. There was like 30 of them right there of the property. And I can get an idea of the market of what things sell for by seeing what things sell for. What's the price per door? How much are units in this area, this area, this area? Is this cheaper, is this higher, is this more or less? By the way, did I tell you to subscribe? Make sure you subscribe so that we can continue to engage. My friend, I wanna help you to build wealth. There's plenty of wealth for everyone and I like to help you, which is why I'm doing this channel. I've already made my money, so I'm trying to pass this on. It's the give back, the pay it forward. This is my pay it forward. So please subscribe so I can pay it forward to you and give you uh, this information, which by the way, I used to do seminars to charge $5,000 a head for people to learn this stuff. And now I'm just providing a lot of it for free right here on the internet. So I hope you're enjoying it. And the last thing I'm going to tell you before we wrap this video is that the multifamily market is usually a small group of investors and they all kind of know each other. And one of the things I learned when I first started buying multifamily in 1999 is people would talk about buildings in terms of people's names. They would go, oh, that's the Smith family building, or that's the Joneses building, or that's Sam Cutler's building, or so-and-so built that building. They still own it. And the people in the industry, they all kind of knew each other. So what I'm saying is that in multifamily in your area, there's usually a bubble of people that kind of know each other. You want to meet those people and get to know them. I could tell you that one of the persons that I bought multifamily from was a man who started a bank and passed away and he had many multifamilies that he was getting rid of as he retired and he was getting out of multifamily and just buying tax-free municipal bonds because he was getting up in the years and he didn't want to manage or own them anymore. And I bought several of his properties just by my relationships. These properties were not on the market. They were not on the market. They weren't on any of these sites. These were brokers that had relationships with people like me and had relationships with people like him that put them together to buy deals. And these are called off-market deals. You can find out about off-market deals if you're in the market. If you're talking to people, if you're engaged, if you're learning, if you're out looking at things, if you're going, this building's gonna be open on such and such a day, go check it out, okay? And meet these people. And the last thing I'm gonna tell you is I probably made between two to $3 million from one broker I met when I asked him this question, who are you using these days for private money to buy these homes and or to buy these apartments before they're fixed up and that will give you money to fix them up, et cetera, et cetera. And he told me a resource. And when he told me that resource, I, it is my main lender. I've done like 22 loans with them already and I'm still doing loans with them. Again, I cannot emphasize it enough. You have to be in the market, meet people, engage, get out there. Like my dad said, nothing comes to pass sitting on your ass. Get out there and meet people, engage, talk, meet, get emails, study, and you too can find where the multifamily properties are and also meet the people that are selling them and 
training them as they say in the business. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get a loan for a fixer upper. And this could be an apartment building or a house. So join me on the next video and I'll see you there.